Hey guys, what's up? It's Coco Stern with Why You Should, and today we're going to talk about this thing! Yes, it's a controller! Uh, not specifically about the Xbox, but just a controller for, for, for the sake of a controller. So, there are games in the world um, that you have on the PC, which is my favorite console. Uh, it's the favorite way to play games, is the PC. And you need to play them with this. It's pretty... you, you need to play them with this. Big examples are... Dark Souls, um, Mirror's Edge, that we'll talk about in a second, and, I don't know, Super Meat Boy, or something like that. Super Meat Boy is arguably, you can play it with, a control, with uh, just a normal uh, keyboard. But, basically, games that are on the PC, but they came, it's a PC port in most cases. They came from the console, whether it's a good port or a bad port. You need a freaking controller. Now, a couple of important things about uh, controllers and controls in general. Some people have the notion that the default controls for a game are the best possible way because that's the default and you should just stick with it. That is incredibly, incredibly stupid and wrong. And if the default is not good for you, you should change that. More, more specifically, I don't even look at the defaults in most cases. I, the first thing that I do when I have a new game is check out all the options. And uh, in most cases, I also reach the controls and change a couple of things just that don't make sense to me that I'm, I'm used to as, if we're talking about the keyboard, E is use something and R is reload and if they change it up to Q and E doing something else a little bit and some games do do that, then I change it back to whatever is comfortable for me. And specifically with controllers. If a game requires a controller, you should get it from a friend and use it. Specifically, this one is a, an Xbox 360 one. There is this... I'm not going to plug it out because then it'll be plugged out, but uh, there's this just tiny little USB thing that you put in, you install the driver, and this just automatically works. It recognizes it, as you can see the... I don't know if you can see it, but... It's... yeah, you can see it. The light, it recognizes it, and you can just play the game. It just works on most games that you can use a controller in and specifically about uh, Mirror's Edge that I want to talk about today. I couldn't change the, the basic... I went to controls and I couldn't change it and I was like freaking out because I was trying to do anything and luckily at the end I found that the gamepad setup allows me to change the controls. And um, what I want to talk about specifically for the controls... I, let, let's look at the controls right here. Mirror's Edge, in case you don't know, is a game about movement. So the main thing that you're going to do, even lefties use the controller in most cases in the same way. You're going to use this in order to move around, okay? And this, obviously, the other stick in order to look around. But with this stick, you move around, and the two other buttons that you use, or more specifically, the one button that you use the most is jump, or up motion. And uh, it's called up motion because in the game, if I actually show you the game, it's not only, uh, where can I to give you an example, it's not only jumping, but it's also just going on top of things. It's everything that's considered up motion. And for some reason, they decided that this one, the left button on the controller, needs to be the up button, and the, the trigger needs to be crouch. And why I think that's really stupid is because 100% of the movement is on this hand, is on the left hand, and my left hand got painful. It, it started hurting. It just did. And I really don't understand it. More specifically, the button is not one of the best buttons uh, for... Uh, not one of the best controls on this thing. The most easy to reach controls are obviously the, the, the easy ones, the, the four, and the triggers are obviously very comfortable shooting. Think about any shooting game, you shoot with these. So, the button is not the best choice for the most pressed control that you're going to use in a game. And specifically, le leaving everything to the left hand is stupid. Luckily, for me, gamepad setup, shoulder swap, which swaps it around. And uh, there's down action and up action. I sw switched it to the right hand, and now uh, I use my right hand, and it's so much more comfortable. It's still the button, which I've already gotten used to, so I don't really mind, because you do get used to that, but... More preferably, the button that you're using the most should be the trigger. And this time it's, it's crouch, and you don't use crouch as much. You use up motion in most cases, because obviously you want to reach the rooftops and, and all that and jump around. So, with that, um, as I switched it around, Mirror's Edge specifically, I didn't like the, the defaults. Some people just stay with the defaults, and they don't change them, and that's really, change them. If they're not comfortable, change them. Because why would you stick with, with something? Some people have the notion, that weird notion, 
that you should stick with the defaults because it's the best and it's really don't change the controls and specifically games that require you to use this thing get it from a friend or buy one they're not incredibly expensive and they will they will be very very useful in a lot of games specifically uh, DMC4 was a game that you could use I got used to I didn't have a controller before that so I played with my keyboard but a controller is probably better in most cases and other games, Mirror's Edge, Dark Souls, Super Meat Boy, uh, good platformers, anything like that, use this thing. It's useful. It's really easy to set up in 99% of the cases because everybody's doing it. And if you're having any sort of problem, go online and deal with it. So, controllers, use them and control, default controls, change them if you need to. Don't stick with, don't be a drone. Don't, nah, it's bad default, better. Not uncomfortable, but I should. And uh, I'm, I'm, doing this stupid impression because I have friends that just I stick with the defaults it's so uncomfortable and then they switch and because I yell at them and suddenly suddenly oh my god the game is so much more comfortable that's just baffles my mind so I, I had to say it apparently because people don't know that that you should change the default controls of games so uh, yeah that's all I have to say for today I'm gonna go finish Mirror's Edge uh, I decided to play it because E3 said that Mirror's Edge 2 is coming and I, I've never I didn't know that this game was out for PC as well. I just didn't know. I thought it's only for consoles, and it is for PC, so yay, I got it, and now I'm using a controller and playing it, and it's a lot of fun. I have a couple of problems with it, but uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Overall, it's, it's just, it's a nice game aesthetically. The main problem that I, I really have to point out is that, have you noticed that there are no people? Ever. The only people that you see are cops that you fight. But other than that, even in ur urban areas, if you look around and you can see streets, no one, and no one, <laughs> there's just no one anywhere. Not only the rooftops where you jump around that you can expect, okay, let's say no one is there and there's no other runners in the area, but you're actually at places you're in your street level and there's no one for miles. That's weird. So this game is aesthetically pleasing and it has a couple of cool parkour crap, but... Uh, has its problems. I'm gonna finish it and uh, that's it for me for why you should again subscribe and stuff if you like my videos and uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Laters.